hello everyone welcome to our youtube channel in this video we will guide you through the process how to fix home kit apple home automation not working okay so guys we are going to discuss by each step first is check for update home pod or home pod mini open the home pod app on your ios device tap on the home tab then on the home setting icon looks like house under speakers and tvs tap software update in ipad go to setting and then general Tap into software update. If update is available, tap to download and install. Okay. In Apple TV, you can use this for a step. Okay, guys. So guys, our second step is sign out and sign in in the iCloud. To sign out to iCloud on your iOS device, open the setting app, tap on your Apple ID and tap up the menu. Scroll to the bottom and tap the sign out. Enter your Apple ID and password. Okay. And to sign back into cloud open the setting app tap sign in on your device at the top of the menu enter your apple id and password follow any on-screen instruction to complete the sign-in process and step is recreate automation open the home app tab into automation tab at the bottom of the screen tab into plus sign in the upper right corner to create a new automation choose the trigger for your automation example when people arrive at the time or courtesy set the condition for trigger such as the who when where select the accessor of a screen you want to control with the automation adjust the setting for your selected accessor or skins tap down to save the automation so for the step is reset home hub on your ios device open the home app Tap on the home icon at the upper left corner to access your home setting. Select the home hub you wish to reset, example home pad, Apple TV, and choose remove home hub to disconnect the from your home kit setup. For the home pod, hold the top the home pod until the light turn red and Siri announce that the about the reset for Apple TV go to setting, then system, then reset. Okay. After reset, set up the device again using the home pad, home app or the device on setup process once set up add the device back on your home put setup through the home app to use it the home hub again if a step you restart device restart in iphone press and quickly release the volume up bottom press and quickly release the volume down button and press and hold the side button until the apple logo appear then release the side button okay this is for iphone for home is for how to restart home home accessors power on your accessor and ensure it's nearby open the home app on your iphone or ipad tap to add the accessor and follow the on-screen instruction to scan a code and bring your device near to the accessor to add it okay so by six step is check your hub connection open the home app on your ios device tap on the home icon on the top left corner of the screen select home setting scroll down and choose the hub and bridges option look for your hub device like apple tv or home port in the list confirm that it's so connected if doesn't ensure your hub is plugged in and your wi-fi network is working properly seventh step is remove and re-add home port open the home app on your iphone or ipad tap and hold the home port that you want to reset scroll down and Tap remove accessor to remove the home pod from the home app. Reset your home pod by unplugging it, waiting 10 seconds and plugging it back in. Hold your iOS device near the home pod to setting set it up again and new necessary. Okay. So with our eighth step is check location accessor. Tap into setting app on your iOS device home screen. Scroll down and tap the privacy. Tap on location services to access your device location setting. Ensure that Location services is toggled on at the top of the screen. Scroll down to see if the list app and their location access permission. Check if the desired app has necessary location access. Okay. So guys, this is our all step. Thanks guys.